to the factoring section of my website. The first factoring method we will learn is called common factor, in which we try to remove the greatest common factor of each of the terms in a polynomial expression. The common factor of these four terms cannot include an A, because not all four terms have an A. For the same reason, it cannot include a B, a C, or a D. It's going to include an X because we see that all four terms have an X. But what should we factor out? Should we factor out X, or X squared, or X cubed? The trick is, you look at the four X terms, and you say, which is the smallest one I see? X cubed, X cubed, X cubed, X to the sixth. The smallest one we saw was X cubed, so that is our greatest common factor. If we divide each of these terms by X cubed, the answer will look like this. We write x cubed first, and then we write a bracket. What will go in the bracket is the expression that, when multiplied by x cubed, would give us this expression. ax cubed divided by x cubed is a. Negative bx cubed divided by x cubed is negative b. cx cubed divided by x cubed is c. And negative d squared x to the sixth divided by x cubed is negative b squared x squared. We can verify if we factor correctly simply by multiplying the two factors. If we multiply them by each other and we get the original question, it means we did it right. Let's do a few more examples. In this example, all four of the terms have an x. But not all four terms have a y, and not all four terms have a number like 6, 9, or 12. So the only thing we can take out is going to be something including an x. We have x, x squared, x, and x. The smallest x we see is x, so that is our largest common factor. We will divide everything in this expression by x and write the answer inside the bracket. xy divided by x is y. Negative 6x squared y squared divided by x is negative 6xy squared. 9xy cubed divided by x is 9y cubed. And negative 12x divided by x is negative 12. Again, if we multiply the x by the contents of the bracket, we should get this original question to verify our answer. In this third expression, we have an a, an a cubed, and an a. The smallest one we saw was an a, so we we're going to factor out an a. But we also have x squared, x squared, and x cubed. We can take out more. The smallest that we saw in the x's was x squared. We can take out a x squared. ax squared divided by ax squared, remember, is equal to 1. You have to write the 1. a cubed x squared divided by ax squared is equal to a squared. Negative ax cubed divided by ax squared is equal to negative x. If we multiply ax squared by this expression, we get our original question, so we must have done it right. Finally, this one has numbers in common. 17, negative 34, negative 51. The greatest common factor of 17, 34, and 51 is 17. So we will take out a 17. We have a's in all three expressions. We have a, a squared, a cubed. The smallest is a, so that's our greatest factor. We have x squared, x cubed, x to the 4. We have x's in all three terms, so we can take out something with an x. The smallest of them is x squared, so that will be part of our, our greatest common factor. 17ax squared divided by 17ax squared is 1. Negative 34a squared x cubed divided by 17ax squared is minus 2ax. Negative 51a cubed x to the 4 divided by 17ax squared is minus 3a squared x squared. And again, you can verify, with all factoring, you can verify by multiplying your factors together to get the original question.